This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kevin Levates here and today's video is for engineers, specifically software engineers who've come up with a great idea and thrown together a prototype and then are wondering why no one's paying any attention to what it is that they've done. And this is a common problem. I know a number of people who've gone through this and I've been through it many times myself. And the fact is you have to understand the psychology of your audience. People in society today expect to receive simple pointers indicating to them the meaning of what it is that they're looking at. And these pointers don't themselves contain meaning. They are usually fairly shallow and surface indicators as to the significance of what's going on underneath. And as an example, I've carried along a bunch of books into the forest. So if you look at the first book, here we have the cover. You know the expression, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, we all do. And this first one is clearly a textbook because it's got a couple of colors on the front. It's got one of those patterns and designs that all the textbooks you had to get out of the library as an undergraduate had. Uh, it, it just screams, I'm a textbook. Uh, have a look at the next one, right? That is something for people to read on an aeroplane. It's colorful and bright and it's bold and it's trying to make a statement. Hey, read me, it's screaming. I'll tell you all about the metaverse. Not a textbook, certainly. Um, here's a third book. That is clearly a fantasy novel, right? Again, if you're a fan of fantasy stories, then you're going to immediately recognize that that might be something that you're interested in. If you put a cover on a book, that looked like the first one, but contained a story about elves and warriors and magic, it's not gonna sell. And publishers know this, they spend a lot of time and effort making sure that the covers of their books um, immediately convey the message as to what's inside. And that way they can grab their readership because there's a lot of competition in the book market. There are an awful lot of books out there and only so many readers with so much time. And the same applies to your software idea. If you've come up with a great software invention or an interesting new twist on how to use existing software, you can't just throw together a quick demo with a bunch of text uh, and a web page that looks like it's from 1995 because you'll automatically lose 95% of your audience. So you have to take the time to polish it up a bit and to make sure that the cover of your project conveys what the content is all about. Um, here's another example. You're watching this video. You probably noticed that I had a thumbnail on YouTube to describe it and it was colorful. It had a picture of me with a white surround around it, big title, little logo in the top left hand corner. And there's a reason for that. I used to make these videos and five or ten people would watch them and some of them would comment, hey, this content is gold. You deserve to have a lot more subscribers than you currently do. Then I read a tutorial on how to generate a thumbnail for a YouTube video. And yes, my thumbnails look like everybody else's, but they have to. Without such a thumbnail, you're portraying a message that the stuff inside the video isn't going to be that good because people make a snap decision on the basis of a few seconds from the cover, from the appearance. So my advice, if you've got a software project and you're an engineer, you're going to have to just, you know, cope with the fact that your project needs a decent cover. Take the time to present it well. You might actually double or triple your audience and even actually get traction, which is presumably ultimately what you want. Anyway, that's today's video, which I guess is a marketing video for uh, engineers. The fact remains that marketing is important and uh, we all have to learn a little bit about it if we're going to get ahead. That's it for today. Hope you found it interesting and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.